Good, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're finally cruising again. Putting the hammer down towards our delivery place. We got up there when it was still dark, so I was kind of in a hurry to get it going this morning, so that way I can get going right after my tan, right? And here we are. We're on US 35 same highway as we were two weeks ago or something like that so yeah <clears throat> beautiful beautiful hills up here that's for sure but yeah woke up this morning and did my uh, pre-trip inspection and uh, noticed my passenger side trailer uh, running light was out so luckily enough I had me one uh, in stock and the uh, wiring was good, so I didn't have to do nothing to the wiring. So I was able to just uh, quickly pop out the uh, old light and uh, pop in the new light. We were good to go, but yeah. Good uh, good idea to do your pre-trip every morning. Otherwise, you know, if I had a running light, I mean, it's not a big deal. The single light still work, but if a DOT inspects you and that's not working, the DOT violation so got that taken care of so now everything is working again so hopefully today we will have a better day than we had yesterday that is our number one goal I really hope also that we can make our delivery time right now it says that at 1348 we should arrive at our customer we still have 340 miles to go Speed limit reduced to half. So, we'll see how everything goes. I can't afford to make too many pit stops here. I'll just have to keep my left door closed and hammer down. That's pretty much all we're going to have to do because uh, otherwise we won't make it on time, right? That's right. But I appreciate you guys tuning in on today's vlog and checking out to see what we're up to. We'll see what kind of reload we will get yet today. I think this patch is even scared to give me anything because all the breakdowns that I've been having yesterday, pretty much all day long I've been having breakdowns, right? First I had that bolt. I waited several hours for that. And then I get going. I got me another breakdown. Wasted another 45 minutes. Although that wasn't too bad, 45 minutes, but Still, it was the thought of breaking down and I did send that to the dispatch letting them know that I was broke down so yeah anyways look at that sun starting to peek through over the mountains up there or whatever you want to call it yeah anyways we'll continue on cruising along here stick around for the rest of the show guys here we are in Virginia ladies and gentlemen we have just gone on I-64 eastbound got 15 more miles to go and then we turn on to I-77 yeah it's gotten a little bit cloudy here today and it's actually cooler up here than it was in Chicago yesterday and I don't know why these guys are going so slow We'll turn into the left lane and see if we can pass them. They're going so slow, but uh, yeah. Looks like we got a scale coming up here pretty soon too. We'll see if they're open. I wouldn't be surprised. Everybody's telling me West Virginia is always open, so wouldn't surprise me if they're open today. And I did fuel up 80 gallons here this morning in Ohio. So I might be a little bit over on my drives. But uh, hey, I'm allowed to be a little bit over because uh, I got the APU unit exemption. And I looked it up, West Virginia and Virginia, both of them have a 550 pound weight exemption for APU units. So. So technically we are allowed to be a tiny little bit over. Yes indeed. 
looks like we got a uh, truck lane here, so may as well move into that. Oh, we got a four wheeler here on the shoulder, so I'm gonna move her back in. And somebody talking on the CB. I'm not sure what they're talking about. A little too far away for me to really hear. But anyways, here we are. Still got 247 miles to go to our delivery, so it looks like my time has been cut down a little bit. Right now my GPS says uh, 1335 is when we shall arrive there, so that means my increase in speed limit has done justice. Still making good time so far. Well, let's hope it stays that way and we can get there on time. That's very important to me. Alrighty guys, we are still cruising along. We have entered Virginia now. Yes indeed. <clears throat> and it is still very, very hilly up here. That is for sure. We only got 113 more miles to go and then we'll be at our delivery place though. So we're doing pretty good on that department. But yeah, looks like it's starting to get a little cloudier and cloudier. We might all of a sudden get a little rain. I think it happened the same thing here last time I come through here. I got me a little rain shower here once. When I came through here about two weeks ago, so... You never know, that might happen again, right? But other than that, we're just giving her. We haven't stopped one time yet, so I'm happy about that. That I haven't had to stop anywhere yet. I'm good to go. And so that means we will, if nothing goes wrong, we will be on time. Or before they close anyway. So looks like right now at uh, 1335, it's 135, I should be there. So that's Eastern time. And they close at 2.30, so we should be okay as of right now. But that's also a result of me keeping her pretty steady and keeping her, my speed a little bit higher than, than I normally would. So the result of that is that we get a little better mileage, right? Although we do terrible on fuel mileage, but hey, at least we'll get our load there on time. At least we won't have to sit there till tomorrow, right? Yep, that's right. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along here. I hope you guys are enjoying the beautiful scenery that we see up here. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we have got unloaded. Yes, indeed, we have. We got there around 1.31. That's right, that's Eastern time, though. So we were still on time. And if you can hear that noise, Continue on this road. somebody Continue forgot to, to tighten something properly, and uh, now it's loose. Yeah. So, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but I know it's an exhaust leak somewhere. So it's very annoying and loud too. Especially the more power you give it, the more noisier it gets. But I already called the shop and they're going to take me in Friday night. So hopefully they can fix that Friday night. And I still do have a code too for my EGR belt not supposed to be there so uh, not sure what that's all about but it was there right from the beginning so they uh, never did 100% hook up the EGR valve I guess or something is not right because I still have a code you hear that that's a terrible screeching noise but hey I checked everything everything looks fine so uh, we're just going to have to live with it, I guess. But we do have us a reload. We are on our way to our reload. We're picking up a load in uh, West Virginia. And 
and we're going to Winnipeg with that load, just bringing it to the terminal. So I talked to the customer and they said, yep, you can park there overnight, no problem. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to park there overnight. We got us about 176 miles to go yet, and then we'll be at our pickup place. So we'll probably go over there and probably cook us a stew or something. Yeah. But before we do that, I think we're going to go up here to a fly and hook. And then we'll uh, probably take us a shower. All that good stuff. And we'll be on our way uh, to our uh, pickup there to stay there overnight. Alrighty guys, we have just gotten us a much needed shower. Got us much needed fuel as well. Yeah, we needed to get fuel, that's for sure. I fueled up 230 gallons worth of fuel. Cost of 565 bucks US. Yeah. Stay over ahead. Cost of fuel. Well, two dollars and forty-five cents a gallon. <clears throat> That's right. Looks like we got a chicken house coming up over here. What I mean by that is a scale. So yeah, let's see if they're open. And I got me new sunglasses. Yeah, my other one's kind of broke. Or at least not really broke, but one of the uh, nut came loose. And uh, so, I haven't even thrown them out yet. But this is what happens. <laughs> yeah, one of the gloss came out of there. And so we needed to come and uh, get us new glasses here at the Flying J2. Because it's nice and sunny out here, so... I need to have sunglasses with me. They didn't really have the traditional ones that I like, the big round ones. They didn't have those ones, so uh, I had to take what they had. Whichever one looked best for me, anyways. So here I am. This is what I have decided on buying me. So, whatever. It's okay. Almost looks like that chicken house is closed. Because the sign is red. Usually if it's red, it's closed. If it's white or green, it's usually open. Oh, I hate that noise, man. Every once in a while, it just gets really noisy. It's really annoying, but what can I do? We'll get her fixed. I already booked an appointment with Integrity there, so... So, yeah. Chicken house is closed, that's good. I think they were open earlier when I come by here, but I guess they have decided to close it down. I guess it's 5.30 already, so they must close at five o'clock. But yeah, we got us another two hours to go <clears throat> to our uh, pickup place. And uh, I called them earlier and they said, yeah, we can park there overnight, so. But all right, well, uh, go down there, take me shower, get fuel, and I guess I'll go down there and park there for the night. That way I'm ready there for 8 o'clock in the morning. So they'll be uh, expecting me there. He said that he would let his staff know that to expect me to be parked there. So yeah, so they should know about it. Well, look at that beautiful mountains in the backgrounds over there, eh? That's some big hills. That's where we came down from earlier. I mean, we weren't quite all the way at the top. Well, actually, it all looks like we do go all the way over the top over there. Wow. So we will be on top of those mountains here in a little bit, so. Alrighty, guys. It is actually the next morning. Yeah. You can see the sun arise over there. There's another penner sitting right here beside us. Yeah, we had us a good talk there yesterday, and I figured, ah, I'll finish the show this morning. So, me and him, we decided to cook us a stew here yesterday. So, we're cooking us a stew outside there. They got a nice uh, light post up there, and uh, yeah, a nice lighting area up here. So, uh, we decided, ah, we'll cook a, cook a nice stew outside there, you know. So, 
that's what we did and we went just went and checked in and uh they said that uh, the product is ready but the uh, lady at the head office hasn't finished the computer process yet or all the stuff that is required in the computer i guess so we're still stuck waiting here they said at least till 8 30 and then we'll find out if they got everything ready there at the computer end so we'll see from there go from there i was kind of hoping i get done here early and then i could get hammer down home as early as i could but yeah well it doesn't always happen that way right so but anyways we'll see you on the next one this has been trucker rudy signing out <laughs>